Hello, we are back for a little tutorial and today I will show you how you can make these small Easter chickens from some fabric. Um, what you will need is fabric. I will use some of our microscopy pattern fabric that we have left over from some test prints. You will need felt for the comb and the, the beak. You also need for these feet, if you want to add them, some kind of thread or wool or whatever you have like left over. You can add small pearls to the feet if you want. Um, and then you need scissors, thread, needles and pins. I will use a sewing machine, but if you don't have any, you can just use a needle and some thread. I will also use an iron because I will be making many different ones and there I, it's a little bit easier to iron the lower side. I will show that to you. Um, and then I have prepared two different sizes for those chickens. You can use basically any size, but it's good if one side is twice the length as the others. So the ones I will be making will be 20 times 10 centimeter and 12 times 6 centimeter. Let's get started. First you place the model on the fabric, make a line around and you cut it out. Then as I said, I like to fold the lower edge and to iron it, I fold it about one centimeter and it makes it easier in the end to turn around the chicken and there will be a little hole that you need to fix with needle and thread. Then I cut out the comb and the beak and either you can draw this onto the fabric or you just do it freehand with your scissors. Like that. And then it's time to combine the pieces together. So now I placed the comb at two and a half centimeter and the beak at one centimeter from the edge. Then I fold the fabric. Now note that I have not uh, folded the edge, I've unfolded it again, what I ironed. And you could either fix the beak and the comb before with a few stitches, or I like to just put in needles. And then I will sew these two sides with my sewing machine. Once I have made these two seams, I cut off the edges because that makes it easier afterwards to turn around the chicken and to make the edges nice from the outside. Then you open the whole shape and you fold it so that the seam is approximately in the middle of the side underneath. And now I like to uh, press this with my iron because that will get these two edges very nice and neat so that it's easy to place as you see here the legs into those edges and then you can fix this with a needle now you see that the legs are placed towards the inside because they we will uh, turn around the whole shape afterwards so they will be outside and now we need to make two small seams at each side and leave a gap in the middle so that we can turn around it afterwards Again, I cut off the edges and then it's time to turn it. And that can be a little bit tricky. So if you have very heavy fabric, leave a little bit bigger hole so that that, that is not so difficult. Actually with the small chicken, I have um, turned this before and just close the seam from the outside afterwards with the legs in. Now you can see I'm stuffing this. This is optional and you can use either like stuffing for toy animals, you can use cotton, you could use rice, you can use scent or you can use pieces of newspaper. And then you just close this little hole with a thread and needle and that's a little bit easier when you have ironed this edge in the beginning. Now you can add either buttons or for the eye or you just draw them or you stitch it and then your little chicken will be ready. If you enjoyed this tutorial and you would like to see more of such inspirational ideas for small pieces of fabric, 
you can visit our website at www.flora-l.com/inspiration. Thank you for watching and happy Easter.